Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Vindman. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up because today we are talking about a capsule travel wardrobe. So stay tuned. It is the end of February and March is the month of travel, whether it's for spring break, for business, or just for pleasure. It is the month where a lot of people, especially in colder climates like the Midwest, travel somewhere else. So whether you are going to a city or a beach or you have a little business mixed in with your travels, I have something for you or at least some tips and tricks that you can bring into your own packing as well. Now you'll see that a lot of the clothes have similar tones and maybe even some similar textures. So this is a very generic vacation that we are packing for. It's a little dressy, it's a little casual, there's lots of things in between. Now I personally like to dress up a little bit more no matter where I'm going, unless I am just going to be lying out on the beach in my bathing suit, I'm probably dressing up a little bit more and just kind of wearing what I would normally wear. I think when you pack for vacation, not only is it really important to try on absolutely everything from head to toe because I promise you if you don't when you get to your destination you will wish that you had because you'll realize you're missing something you're missing an accessory you're missing the right shoes you're missing a bag you're missing something so just take that little bit of extra time or a lot of extra time and put all these outfits together for yourself the other thing you want to think about is working in the same tones now this might seem a little bit boring but it actually makes getting dressed in the morning super super easy and if you are a mom or just a woman in general then you know that you have the least amount of time to get ready because you're getting everybody else ready you're also probably the one who planned the vacation booked the vacation and just made the vacation happen in general so you probably don't have a ton of time to either go shopping for new things or just put the outfits together and by keeping it very minimal keeping it keeping the palette super, super minimal, keeping it down to about three colors will save you so much time. So let's get into the outfits and where you can wear them and all of the mixing and matching that can be done. Now last week we kind of did something similar, only it was for like what to wear now, the 333 rule. So I kind of took that idea and I embraced it for travel. I am a notorious overpacker and it, this actually really, really helped me kind of pare down to almost like a carry-on luggage situation. But the first thing, hopefully you are going somewhere a little bit warmer, is your base color. Is it going to be blue? Is it going to be navy? Is it going to be olive green? Whatever it is that has to carry through and speak to all the other pieces because then you can just mimic the same bottoms and almost similar silhouettes without having to rethink the entire wardrobe. So our base color for this is going to be black. We're also mixing in white. Black and white are going to be the two major base colors. We're we're sprinkling in a little bit of that army green, that khaki green, and then maybe even adding in a pop of one other color. So you want to think about your bases, either a short or some kind of a skirt in your base color, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. If I'm going somewhere that's a little bit more city, I'm probably going to be grabbing black. If I'm going to museums, I'm going to be thinking about where I'm going and what colors suit that. If I'm going somewhere really tropical, maybe blue is going to be a little bit more of that. You want to think about where you're going and what colors will make you feel really good when you're on vacation. So we have either a short or a skirt, or both, as your base layer. Now you want to start thinking about those mixing pieces, and these are going to stay very, very basic as well. I pulled a striped mock neck tank top from Loft, which is a ribbed detail, and it is so nice. I actually went up a couple sizes because it is a very tight fit, and I wanted to make sure that it was very comfy and cozy for me. So definitely, if you want this one, try a few sizes. And I really loved 
loved that this not only went back to the black and white, but it added in a little bit of that striped detail that is so popular in spring. It also, with the mock neck, it adds a little bit of classiness, a little bit of elegance, so you can dress up your otherwise very basic either short or skirt situation and then add in some kind of a jacket if you feel like you need a little extra warmth through you going into those museums and they have the AC blasting. The second shirt is going to be super, super plain, but very much of a workhorse. So this is going to have a little bit of a sleeve detail. It is in a very nice kind of gauzy cotton material. So very great for those warm weather days. However, for me, I'm always kind of cold. So it's nice to have something with a sleeve that I can either pull all the way down or kind of scrunch up on my arm. And I've chosen something white, but it has a little bit of texture. So it still feels kind of fun. It feels very summery, but it is just a white top. So it's something that we all probably have and you just wanna make sure that there aren't any stains or holes, it fits, all of those things. I definitely chose a looser silhouette too because not only is that trending right now, just having a looser silhouette, I also feel like it tucks in really, really nicely with my paper bag waist skirt. The third top, I'm going to be bringing something in that third color palette. And again, super, super plain. This is from Emerson Fry. They do phenomenal cotton tops. However, they're very blousey. So again, you want something higher waisted. They also have a little bit of a detail. So even though we're going very plain, we have a little bit of a texture play. It gets a little hard as we get warmer because all the materials become cotton, become linen, become poplin. And sometimes it's hard to find that little bit of texture, but having just a little bit of detail really helps bring the outfit to life. You'll also see in the modeling shots that I've added a belt to my skirt and just having a little bit of that woven detail really does pop that outfit. So between this one skirt and these three tops, you have your three outfits. If you decide to bring the shorts too, you have six outfits. That's like almost an entire week with just tops and bottoms. And most hotels now have the option of doing laundry for pretty cheap. So you can absolutely just pack very, very lightly. For me, I also need to bring a jacket, either a jacket for the plane, a jacket just for everyday life, I need something really, really lightweight. Even if I'm going somewhere warm, it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable, especially kind of hopping in and out of museums. It's just nice to have a little bit of a jacket. So this is a great utility one from Velvet, super lightweight, but it has some really great detailing here that kind of pulls you in and gives you a little bit more of a feminine twist to an otherwise very masculine detail. The other thing, if you're feeling like this is getting kind of boring and I want something that pops, play with your shoes, play with your accessories. You can absolutely kind of go crazy with your necklaces and your jewelry. They don't take up as much room. Be very careful with your shoes. I would definitely go practical over fun, especially if you are a mom of young ones and you're gonna be walking or carrying someone all the time. I've made that mistake before, you don't wanna be there. So make sure you are going a little bit more practical, a little bit less fashionista, and you will be so happy. However, when you are trying everything on, make sure that those practical pieces actually work with what you're bringing, because sometimes your practical pieces are too practical, and you can find something that looks really great and is still functional, practical, and awesome. So for me, even though there's quite a few options of mixing and matching and all that, it's really, I have to bring some one and done pieces because not only does it make me feel more like myself, it also just makes it a little bit more enjoyable. So here is this beautiful black and white dress from Ever Eve. It's very boxy, very flowy, and it has pockets. So that is a wonderful, a wonderful bonus. But this is just a great kind of knock around Maybe you're going to the beach, maybe you're just having a very casual sightseeing day. This kind of a dress is really, really great. It's nice to have something that isn't form-fitting or feels a little bit more formal. You can wear the jacket on top and that kind of cinches you in a little bit 
wear it by itself again around the pool. It's amazing. My second one and done is going to be a little bit more of almost like a Grace Kelly moment because the 50s this year in summer are happening. We definitely have that new look from Dior coming back in and I love it because it's just so feminine and it's so chic with the midi length and it just makes everybody look really, really nice. So I'm loving this dress from Loft. It is just has like these nautical ties and knots and it just feels so grown up in a very sophisticated way. We are definitely sticking with the black and white with that. We're also thinking about bringing that quintessential black dress. This one is from Bowdoin. It's a jersey, so it breathes really, really nicely. You can have an Audrey Hepburn moment on your travels. This kind of a dress looks great with so many different kinds of shoes, whether it's flip-flops, kitten heels, anything. So this one can really take you from dinner to museum to just walking around and sightseeing and feeling just a little bit more Hollywood, a little bit more glitz and glam than say a dress like this, which is definitely just kind of knocking around kind of a dress. But just looking at this, it's very easy to pull those outfits together. Your jacket probably isn't going to get that dirty, so I say bring the least amount of jackets you can when you're going to a warmer destination. They take up a lot of space, and especially if you go with a denim jacket, wear that one on the plane so you don't have to pack it. If I was gonna bring another jacket, if we are staying a little bit longer or I felt like I just need one more jacket, I'm either gonna bring a denim jacket without the faux shearling or I'm going to bring something black and I'm almost gonna create like a skirt suit or a short suit with that black linen cotton poplin kind of a jacket. So that's kind of next step. For bags, I am thinking my camera bag. That's the thing I'm always bringing and I'm bringing my Sanrev backpack. They're both in leather. They both look fantastic with everything because they're in a whiskey leather. Think about your bags too. Are you the camera taker? I have a big camera that I always bring on family vacation so I have to have a very specific kind of camera bag which you see in the modeling shots. But if you aren't that kind of camera person and you have just your phone or you have a smaller kind of shoot and click camera, feel free to grab something that's a little bit more woven. I would highly recommend a crossbody. This one I got from Tucker Nook. It is so good and I've been using it a lot even in February and I will continue to use it all throughout summer because it does have that woven detail so it's very appropriate for summer and spring etc etc and it lightens up a lot of the outfits too now let's say you're like okay Jansen I have like pretty much all of these things and what's the next step or maybe you just want to mix it up a little bit this is when I'm also going to be grabbing a few more things because remember I am an overpacker and it is kind of nice to have a, just a few more items I'm definitely going to be grabbing a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt will take you so many places, especially if you have that jacket. Just a good other option besides that striped tank. This one's a little bit fancier, this one's a little bit more casual, but you can definitely dress up that t-shirt. So that one's really good in case this one gets dirty and you can't get it washed. I will probably also be bringing something in a little bit of a color because there will come a moment if I'm staying for a long period of time when I'm just like, Oh, do I really have to wear these colors again? And just bringing something in a brighter color for either the plane ride back or for just the last day is just kind of a nice, it reinvigorates the vacation, it reinvigorates your mood a little bit. And this blue goes amazing with the black bottoms that I've chosen. If you're staying a little bit longer and you need another skirt or another kind of bottom option, I would go for that third color, whatever your main third color is, either grab a pant, grab a skirt in that color and build from there because all of your tops should be working with that thing as well. This plus the 
khaki. I mean, that's kind of like very cool, right? Monochromatic dressing, you can't go wrong. But this way, you don't have to think about anything. You get up, you grab your white piece, you grab your black piece, you grab your green, you have your complete outfit and you can really concentrate on the wonderful people that you are vacationing with and the amazing things that you are doing and the amazing things that you are seeing. So those are your tips and tricks for packing for a capsule wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think travel packing is an art and I think it is something that takes a while to get used to, but when it's done really, really well and you have that time to be very thoughtful about your accessories and your shoes and picking your three main colors with maybe one surprise item, it just makes the vacation so much easier for you as the planner as the go-getter, as the main person of the vacation. I do fashion videos every Wednesday, beauty videos every Friday, and you are watching the shorts in between and me on Instagram because I'm putting more options together for you and you're gonna see them in just one place rather than just the modeling shots. So that is gonna make your life a little bit easier and a little bit more glossy. Thank you again for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.